Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I will be showing you how to replace a broken saber blade. Breaking a saber blade is unavoidable for any fence of uh, saber fencer. Uh, for for example, I broke in three myself, and I've only been fencing for about one one and a half years. Uh, I broke actually two in one night, and uh, this is my third broken saber. I broke this saber at my most recent competition. Um, most sabers, when they break, it breaks around here because it's very fragile around here. All th um, usually when this happens is when two uh, fencers they uh, they both do advanced launch and the saber bends upwards so that it just snaps. Um, sometimes sometimes it could happen when uh, two blades they uh, when someone hits too hard so it, it also could snap like that. But all three of my saber breaks was because I. Um, bend it too much and snapped. Another reason that blades could break is the quality. The durability of a blade depends on the quality. So for example, this blade is 40 bucks uh, and uh, it doesn't have a uh, great quality. But I have two identical blades here uh, that I'll be, I'll, I'll replace this with uh, this blade. And these are all star blades and each of them is 140 bucks. So now let's start replacing the blade. So the first step is to disassemble uh, the, the saber. Um, so you want to find the hex key, which looks like this, and you want to find the right size. Uh, I have uh, another hex key right here, and it, this one is too small. Uh, and then you want to go to the bottom of the saber, uh, which is right here. And then you want to uh, uns unscrew it. You want to turn uh, counterclockwise. And then after you loosen it a bit, you can start unscrewing with your hands. And there you go. And now after it's unscrewed, you want to take out the handle. And then take out the blade. So it's, yeah, so it's that easy. And now let's move everything aside. Uh, so let's grab one of these new blades and make sure you put it in correctly like this. And then you want to grab the handle and you want to put that in as well. And then you want to put through the put this through the bottom. Grab the ring. And sometimes it will push out, so it's a bit tricky. Uh, so you want to hold it like so. I'll push down the table so you can hold it. Put the ring in, and then uh, screw this back on. And you just gotta screw on a bit, and then you tighten it. And you want to make sure that that you tighten it all the way so it doesn't fall back out. And you have successfully replaced your blade. And here is a new fresh blade. Look at that. 